welcome back to my channel this is Dawn at your service so today I will be showing you on how to operate the Juki DDL 8700 industrial sewing machine okay first off let's turn on the machine turn on the LED light so you can see and okay let me just turn it off right now because it's contrasting with my light Ugh. okay so let me go up here on the thread so first off i'm gonna be using this white thread so you can see what i'm doing i would just insert on this hole for here just pull it okay turning the sewing machine you're gonna start from the left pull it to your right twist it back on your left go to the right Oops. okay then let me get just put it closer so you can see okay there you go and now over here in this hole can you see it okay i think that is better you put it on that hole like that and you're just gonna like make make an s okay put it back in again okay so from that you will go on these two plates insert that thread and i'm not really sure if you can see let me just get closer oops sorry about that okay insert it then okay there you go then if you can see this tiny little thing here let me get closer so you can see what i'm talking this here that one you put the thread inside of it okay there you go you see that let me put back okay guys so let's continue so you got your thread into this um little hook then put it back here in this another hook that is on top of that let me show you um this one here this slip it there there you go and now you can insert on this little one here by that you're gonna start by putting it from the right um to your left my hand is on the way so i'm not sure if you can see okay so there you go pull it and there's another hook there's just too much uh too much hook on this one um okay it's just so difficult taking this okay so this hook here there is the opening you just slipped it there just like that and now we're gonna work on the bottom part kind of like swirl so you put it in there like that and from that on you will see another hole this hole so that hole you insert the thread on it let's put it in there you go so guys this uh, machine is different from the home sewing machine this industrial one uh you thread it from your side from the left side because the hole of the needle was on the left side i mean on the side um if you notice that the home sewing machine if you thread it it's from the front so that's all it's pretty easy so let's just thread it from the left 
to right, pull it on your right, and insert it on the bottom of your freezer foot. And what you're going to do next to lift that freezer foot is, okay, let me show you here. Okay. Here is, uh, this is a uh, new lifter. So guys, an, in order for you to lift your freezer foot, you're going to use the knee lifter. And of course, what you're going to do is use your knee, of course. Push it on your side, just like that. Um, I think it's the lowest setting. Okay, let me just do it like that. Okay, so you push it, then you can see that your freezer foot is much higher now. You see that? It's much higher. And you can also use, um, okay, this one, this, this part here. You can use that like that. But if you use this one, it's not as high up as if you use the knee lifter. It can only go that way, that one. But if you use the knee lifter, this is the knee lifter. You can go so far away, like three quarter of an inch. So that's how high you can go. Okay, so your needle was threaded, and let's see, guys. Now I'm gonna show you how to foot your bobbin and bobbin case on the bottom of your machine so let me um, move it that way so you can see this plate here you can just slide it on your side just like that Hold it. okay okay so on the home sewing machine you're gonna put like your bobbin with a on the bobbin case is um, like that you see that this one to be like that but for this one you're gonna put it like the opposite way it's going out you see this um, I can't do this I'm doing really okay so this one that one see you're doing it like the opposite way this is going out there's your bobbin case. Okay, there we You insert that. You notice it's going the opposite of you. Opposite, okay? It's facing your opposite. So put it in opposite way. And as you can see, um, this here, that's where you're going to insert it. And done. Okay, so and when it comes to putting it on the machine, you go on the bottom here. Um, on the bottom here. Try to make sure while you're holding this. There you go. Push it. Hold it, hold it. Do it straight again okay if you heard that click means it is safe and it was put properly so let's do it again hold hold your bobbin and bobbin case and push it done and you just gonna slide back this plate and turn your light if you need it or you don't have to and then you're ready to saw yeah but before I show you how to saw let me just show you how to adjust your speed 22 10 right now because I don't really need that much faster than that but even that is really fast so a very loose setting is um 350 that's the slowest so let me show you how it's saw. So of course, Kai, before you saw, make sure you lift 
the freezer food when you left it then it, it will go that way then it, and you can start sewing this is the very lowest setting okay let me show you how it's saw okay see so look at that um beautiful so that's the lowest setting and if you're trying to turn this one make sure to turn while you're turning this wheel here make sure your foot is raised so you use your knee lifter again while you're turning the wheel okay while doing that you need to watch um you see this um you see this one that needs to be on top then you can just um pull this easily like that and then we're gonna go to the next stitch as always use your knee to lift your knee lifter adjust the setting of the speed over here um okay let me show you let's see um 2210 because that's what i'm using most of the time so okay ready see it's um very quiet just left it if you don't wanna so just like that then you can just go again see how fast that is it's actually very scary and cool at the same time but like that so left that twist your foot and let me show you what the highest setting would look like that's gonna be 34 34.50 okay ready there's your uh freeze your foot i mean this your foot pedal sorry that's your foot pedal i'm sorry about my socks it's so colorful okay so you're just gonna do like that like that while it's sewing here left to turn like that this is designed for a straight stitches so you see how that saw that's really scary sounding but you know even this is industrial sewing machine the sound is very quiet because you know why it's got this um oil pan here that makes it like very quiet because you don't hear that the sound of the machine when you need to oil it like that but this one is very cold very quiet machine see all right okay let me show you guys how many um layer of fabric i can go two layers of materials the one that i just did i'm gonna go with four so just erase it see very nice you pull it i'm gonna go with um six Six layers. <laughs> See that? You do it again. Okay, let's do eight. I'm going to do, this is 8 layers now. So 
that's eight layers. Let's go back. See how fast that is? Let me go 10 layers. And this is on the highest setting of my machine. Alright guys, so this is on 10 layers. See? Let me go 12. See, nothing. There's no problem at all. It's actually pretty cool. And I use this machine when I'm making like a bigger project that I just only need um, straight stitches, a few curves, but yeah, pretty much. See that? So what did I say? That's 12, right? Let me go 14. Let's see how far can I go with um, stitches. So 14. See, no problem at all. And you see the stitches is very pretty. Very pretty. Then let's go, what did I say? Let's go 16. 16 so even uh, if you go like the same stitches that you did it's not gonna give you a hard time it's actually pretty cool see that 16 um by the way guys, I'm using cotton materials uh, for now because I don't have a thicker one. So, but this one is, uh, even this one is actually, look, 16, then I'll, I'm 18 now, 18. 16, yep, I'm 18. See? See how the stitches, it's so pretty. This is 18 layers of cotton material. Let me go um, 20 layers. so you can actually slow down it uh, you just have to control your pedal uh, you, even if like you're doing like the very fast stitches or yeah how many minute 30 4 50 per stitch something like that you can actually control on how you put your foot on your pedal like that see okay just like that okay let's do 22 layers all right guys see that that is 22 layers of And actually, I'm gonna go far. Let's see if it can go this way. Wow, I would be so impressed. So that's 20, and I fold it, so that would be um, 40. Wow. Oh. Thread that I'm using. This is not the industrial one. Because for me, that one is very thick. So, I don't want to use it if I'm only uh, using a cotton materials when I sew. But, look guys. 
see that this is 40 layers of um, cotton materials see very pretty very pretty 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 and you can also adjust your stitches how long would you like to go i'm only using okay there you go i'm only using 3.5 see that guys so i'm only using 3.5 this up in between three and four and there's a hole that's gonna be your stitch <laughs> all right guys cotton materials that i saw from my lovely sewing machine and i really appreciate you my subscriber for asking me to do a video and um you know showing what what just i did here and if you have any more question or wanting me to do that i forgot to do here or i skipped something please let me know on the comment below and please everyone don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel and i appreciate you all and i see you guys on my next video bye bye